The first bill on the calendar for the day is House File 85. The clerk will report the bill. House File number 85, number one on the calendar for the day, an act relating to health, the first engrossment. I recognize the member from Nicollet, Representative Brand, to your bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Uh, today, a rise in support of citizens across our state with a rare disease. Any disease affecting fewer than 200,000 Americans is considered a rare disease by the National Organization of Rare Diseases. There are citizens living in each one of our districts that have a rare disease. In fact, it's one in 10 Minnesotans that's affected. And a rare disease is something that uh, is a barrier when it comes to having a full life. There's a nine-year-old in my district named Bailey Johnson. Some of you had uh, committees uh, which this bill was heard in. You heard her testify. Last year, she also came to testify because this bill was also included in Senate File 3656, which was vetoed. Um, as she stated in the HHS Policy Committee, her adrenal glands don't work like other kids. She has congenital adrenal hyperplasia, so she carries a life-saving medication with her at all times. And they've had issues with, um, the, with calling paramedics and having those drugs be administered. When you call an ambulance because you're having a serious situation, what will happen nine times out of ten is they'll take you back to the hospital where the, the, the doctor on, on call will actually administer those drugs. But in the case of Bailey Johnson, within 30 minutes, there could be catastrophic consequences for waiting. And a lot of us have rural districts in particular where an ambulance ride is more than 30 minutes to a hospital. And so you can see the situation presents itself and it's kind of a difficult situation. Paramedics and other EMTs and responders aren't legally allowed to administer those drugs right now. They can give a simple medications such as an EpiPen, but only doctors can administer complex medications. House File 85 would help clear the way for EMTs, AEMTs, and paramedics to assist patients in emergency medications with administration prescriptions that are carried by the patient on them, intended to treat adrenal insufficiency and other rare diseases, or intended to treat a specific life-threatening condition. House File 85 requires the EMS Board to submit proposed guidelines necessary draft legislation to the legislature by January 1st of 2020. This bill language appeared in the Senate File 3656 again last year. And Deanne Johnson, Bailey's mom, said it best in committee. Delayed treatment for up to 30 minutes would be catastrophic. And so today we don't have the EMS protocols in place for Bailey and others across our state. Today we have the opportunity to change that by at least creating those protocols and then next year working on passing those as legislation. So I urge you to uh, vote green in this bipartisan piece of legislation. Thank you. There are no amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House File number 85. Third reading. Representative Backer. Uh, Madam Speaker and members, I stand in, um, in support of this bill. I have served now 25 years as a volunteer EMT. Um, our district actually serves two states. We go and we also serve the tribe in South Dakota, Susitan Wapatan tribe. And um, where, where we get called, there are times that it takes us, even driving very swiftly, it can take us 25 minutes just to get to the call and then the closest hospital can be 25 minutes away. I've been on a number of situations that we have been very creative of solving problems um, and so forth. So um, this is something we as, especially rural EMS providers, um, BLS providers, really can use. Because when that pager goes off, if it's one or two or three in the morning, which I've done many times, we get up, we race to the rig, because we want to do our best and save lives. And this just gives us the tools to do our job in greater Minnesota and also us services that go up and down from Canada down to Iowa. So I would ask for a green um, vote, members. Thank you. Any further discussion to the bill? Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll on the bill.
The clerk will close the roll. There being 126 ayes and zero nays, the, motion, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.